Hi everyone, with this demo I'm going to show one of the new features coming in the new Streams release, which is about auto rebalancing on cluster scaling. So what we have today is that when you scale up or scale down your cluster, you need to run a manual rebalance in order to have all the partitions uh, spread across uh, the different brokers that you have in the cluster at the end of the scaling up. Or for example, uh, if you want to remove one broker from the cluster and you need that that broker is not hosting partitions anymore before uh, uh, removing uh, the broker itself. So it's a kind of a manual process, right? So it means that, for example, if you want to scale up, you want to add one or more brokers to the current Apache Kafka cluster. But after the scaling gap ends, your broker will be just empty. The newly added broker will be just empty. So it will be used for the new topics partitions that will be created from that point in time, right in the future but uh, all the already existing partition will still live on the already existing brokers. It means that uh, if you want to have a more uh, balanced cluster, you need to, to run a manual rebalancing, so still leveraging the cruise control integration we have in StreamZ, with uh, the Kafka rebalance custom resource uh, with the add brokers mode, so that with this process uh, the already existing partitions will be moved on the newly added broker. So it means that starting from this situation with the three brokers hosting some partitions, if you add a new broker, it will be just empty and you have to run this manual rebalance. The, the, the same exists for uh, the scaling down. When you want to scale down um, and you want to remove one or more brokers, but these brokers are hosting uh, some topics partitions, StreamZ can block you to do so, because um, uh, to avoid that uh, you can have some um, uh, re replicas uh, uh, offline uh, and uh, for high availability. So it means that uh, you first have to move partitions off the brokers that you want to remove by running a manual rebalance and then you can scale down your cluster. So it means that you are still using the Kafka rebalance custom resource with the remove brokers mode. First run your uh, rebalancing, so manually. All the partitions will be moved uh, from the brokers that you want to remove to the, or, uh, the other brokers. And then you can remove the empty brokers finally. So everything, as you can see, is a kind of uh, two uh, phases uh, manual process. First scale up and then running the rebalancing or first running the rebalancing and then scaling down the cluster. It means that for scaling down, uh, if you are in this situation, uh, of course you cannot uh, just scale down your broker tree because it's hosting partitions. So you have to remove these partitions out of the broker. Say that with the, the Mm, coming uh, streams release, we are going to add the auto rebalancing on scaling. So what does it mean? It means that uh, if you are going to scale up your cluster, you can just change the number of replicas of your uh, uh, Kafka node pool or your Kafka custom resource, increasing the number of brokers. And then after the scale up, the StreamZ operator will, will automatically run a rebalancing by moving the already existing partitions from the current brokers to the new brokers in order to have a more balanced cluster in the end. Uh, and it's totally automatically. So it means that starting from this situation where we have brokers 0, 1 and 2, hosting some partitions and you scale up your cluster, after the scale up you can see some partitions are automatically moved to the broker tree. So the broker tree will be used also for the already existing partitions, not just for the uh, new ones that will be created uh, in the future. At the same time, for the scaling down, there is an automatic process that helps you because before scaling down, uh, what, what happens if the scaling down is blocked because you want to remove a broker hosting some partitions, the operator will run for you a rebalancing uh, uh, operation by moving uh, the partitions off the brokers that you want to remove, so moving them to the other brokers in the cluster, and when the broker 
register is actually empty, then it can be shut down. So the operator will continue during its reconciliation to remove that broker, so scaling down your cluster. So it means again that if you start from this situation with these four brokers and you want to remove, for example, broker 3, then what you are going to, to do is just scaling down through your Kafka custom resource, your Kafka node pool, and uh, as I said, the operator will move partitions of the broker tree to the other brokers and then scaling down and removing the brokers. So this is a new feature, as I said, and it's totally configurable through the Kafka custom resource. As you know, in the uh, Kafka custom resource, there is a section which is dedicated to cruise control. And uh, a new section is added in this cruise control field, which is the auto rebalance. Within the auto rebalance field, you can specify the mode that you want to run, which is add brokers or remove brokers. So you can specify if you want to run auto rebalancing when scaling up or scaling down or just in one of them. So you can specify one or two modes. And then also you can define and use a template. So there is a new annotation on the Kafka rebalance custom resource, which define this uh, um, Kafka rebalance as a template, not as an actual uh, Kafka rebalance uh, resource to run a rebalancing, but something that is able to describe what are, for example, the goals uh, when you want to run an auto rebalancing operation. So you can use the same template, for example, for uh, removing or adding brokers, or you can use two different templates. So it's totally configurable. Say that, let's move on and see a demo about that. So, I have here a um, Kafka cluster already running. As you can see, I have three brokers and three controllers. So I am using two different Kafka node pools for that. Uh, I have also a cruise, cruise control. So other than the topics related to cruise control, I created uh, a uh, topic and right now if we describe this topic, we see that all the partitions uh, 0 to 5 with three replicas are actually uh, across uh, the three um, different uh, uh, brokers that we have in the cluster. So what we can do right now is uh, actually um, going and uh, applying uh, and, and scaling up the cluster. So let's move from, for example, uh, three to uh, five replicas. So I am scaling up uh, the Kafka node pool that is used for running the brokers to five. What's going to happen right now is that the operator is scaling up the cluster, right? So it's going to add the, the two uh, brokers uh, here. While it's scaling up, let's take a look also the fact that um, uh, there are two uh, templates. So as I already mentioned before, uh, we can specify what are the Kafka rebalance templates that should be used when an auto rebalancing happened. So uh, if uh, we um, take a look to one of them, for example, let's say the one for uh, adding. So let's do something like um, get Kafka rebalance uh, in the correct namespace. And um, we are going uh, to see the YAML. Then you can see that this is an actual Kafka rebalance. There is uh, uh, one more annotation, which is about uh, to specify that it's a template. The spec is actually empty, but you can define your goals and your configuration for the um, rebalancing. Uh, I am just using the default increase control this way. So. Uh, other than that, uh, I already mentioned that there is a section um, in the um, Kafka custom resource, right, about defining what's the configuration for the, um, for the rebalancing. So let's see that uh, there is uh, this uh, section here, uh, which is about uh, cruise control. So we have the auto rebalance section, and we are uh, defining that we want auto rebalance uh, when uh, brokers are added or removed. So or scaling up or scaling down. And then we are defining the templates uh, that uh, we want to use in order to run this uh, uh, rebalancing task.
So at this point, uh, uh, we are waiting for the brokers to uh, scale up and also having cruise control uh, um, uh, to be rolled because cruise control has to be configured with the information about the newly added brokers. Uh, when cruise control is rolled, then uh, the um, operator starts the auto rebalancing. So uh, as you can see here, the operator uh, just creates uh, a new Kafka rebalance uh, custom resource but uh, this is um, uh, created starting from the template so if we take a look uh, to this uh, uh, Kafka rebalance custom resource here uh, we can see that uh, this is actually using uh, the same configuration of the template which in this case was actually kind of empty right because using the cruise control uh, default configuration we are in pending proposal so we are waiting for a proposal coming from cruise control and we are scaling up with broker six and seven at the same time we can also get the status uh, of the current uh, um, rebalancing auto rebalancing from the kafka custom resource you can see here there is a dedicated section in the kafka um, custom resource where the auto rebalancing is running uh, add brokers mode the brokers added were six and seven and it's actually in rebalance on scale up so the rebalancing is happening and at the end of the rebalancing we will see that some of the partitions already existing partitions will be moved from the broker 3, 4, 5 to the broker 6 and 7. You can see now that uh, the proposal is ready and uh, cruise control is actually running the rebalancing. So we are still in uh, uh, rebalancing on scale up um, from a Kafka cluster point of view. If we can check again our Kafka rebalance custom resource, we have the information about the optimization proposal here and we are uh, running the rebalancing step within cruise control. So finally, the rebalancing uh, was done. So if we double check uh, on our Kafka custom resource, we can see that uh, the auto rebalance status is in idle, so not running any uh, rebalancing. And also actually, the corresponding uh, um, Kafka rebalance custom resource was actually removed by the operator. If we go and double check uh, the, um, the the status of the topic, uh, my topic that we already uh, described before, we can see that uh, some partitions were now moved to the newly added broker, right, six and seven, not only on the other already existing brokers. So uh, the rebalancing uh, actually run for you just uh, right after the scale up. Now let's do the same but uh, scaling down again. So we want to remove broker 6 and 7. They are not empty because they are hosting some partitions as we already uh, saw before. So uh, when I'm going to do something like uh, scaling down my uh, Kafka node pool for my brokers to 3, we can actually see that the brokers will be not immediately scaling down but the operator is actually running a rebalancing in order to move off partition from these two brokers uh, and make them empty so that they can be removed. So again, also this time, a new um, Kafka rebalance uh, custom resource is created. So we can get uh, the, the status uh, and information about this new Kafka rebalance custom resource. It was created by the starting from the template that we have so we are in the rebalancing state so the optimization proposal was ready we have already the optimization result here we are scaling down broker six and seven and we can get also the kind of same information from the uh, kafka custom resource where uh, the specific uh, auto rebalance status as you can see uh, is about removing broker six and seven so we are in the rebalance on scale down state so the rebalancing is actually running and when the rebalancing ends we will see that uh, the broker the operator sorry will go and just uh, remove the brokers because uh, now they will be actually uh, empty 
So as you can see here, the rebalancing was done. And uh, if we go then, the two brokers were removed. So now we don't have the broker six and seven anymore. Cruise control, of course, is rolled again because now we can remove the information about the capacity, for example, about the two brokers that now are not part of the cluster anymore. And uh, of course, if we uh, go inside one of the broker and describe the topic that we are using as an example, we see that again, the partitions that some of the partitions that before were hosted on broker six and seven are now host on the remaining brokers in the cluster. So everything was done automatically by the operator, uh, as well as, for example, the um, remove brokers, Kafka rebalance, uh, custom resource was also removed. So uh, this is how the auto rebalancing works and um, uh, how so the auto rebalancing in action. Say that I hope that uh, you are going to enjoy this new feature. So uh, it will be, as already uh, mentioned, in the next uh, stream release coming in the next weeks, uh, in the coming weeks. So stay tuned and let me know uh, if you have any issues. Uh, just engage with us on the Slack channel, uh, on the GitHub, and let us know uh, how and if you are using this new feature. Thank you.